Hello, my lovely Aquariuses. You already have the man holding a coin jumping out there, but I will pull it back. Some of you might get an opportunity from somebody else to do with your finances, to do with your work, uh, but it can also be you creating that for yourself if you resonate as the man holding a coin. But anyway, uh, this is your weekly reading, Aquarius, for the week of the 8th to the 14th. Let's dive straight into it together. I have a lot of cards for you today, so let's dive in. All right, for my lovely Aquariuses. Mm, you have caring connections coming up here you do have envy in the background though so you could have a few people outside of your relationship or partnerships with people who might be a bit envious so just be aware of that aquarius uh, second chakra which is the chakra of desire of your feelings of your emotions so this could go hand in hand here's a very emotional week for you um most likely to do with your connections with others so let's carry on from a different deck here right i think you're being asked to not focus on the external opinions you have the blessed card coming in which is amazing you'll be feeling very blessed this week the blessed card is also a little bit about dodging a bullet so a feeling that you may have this week is that you you feel like you're glad something didn't work out in the end because where you are now is much better or where you're going next is much better than what it would be as if then if you got something uh, that you were either rejected by or didn't you know wrong you know wrong timing or something like that it feels like a blessing in disguise okay now this card is interesting so i always describe it as being you guys are becoming a butterfly you know you're going away from that caterpillar vibes you're turning into some something new okay which is amazing you guys have been transforming i can see that in this case your wings are developed, so you're able to fly, but not quite yet because the rest of you is still in this chrysalis, okay? So you're still in this energy of recreating yourself or transforming, should I say, but you're not quite ready yet to just jump into this new life. So it's almost like um, finding peace and, and finding blessings where you currently are at without needing to have the external validation okay like that's just the vibes coming through same with the relationship could actually resonate with a relationship as well like being happy that you are where you are today in this relationship even if it feels a little bit boring <laughs> meaning that you know maybe you've not moved in together or like all these crazy things like i don't know there's just like being quite grateful and feeling blessed that you're not in this flow because you're not quite ready for it just yet let's get one more though and we have other cards to get through as well let's see Aquarius yeah I think there's a very big message is what they're saying here like don't pay too much attention to external validation here um people could be giving their is there a saying like we could be giving their two pence is that what it is like people giving their opinions maybe trying to rush you like Aquarius why haven't you done this yet oh like you're not well, you said you'll be or you're not in that relationship or I don't know like I feel like there's a little bit of like it's not coming from a good place from others like only focus on yourself and how you feel because at the end of the day where you are is beautiful and you are transforming and you know you're dealing with a, a lot internally other people on the outside can't see that they can't see what's going on between you and somebody else or they can't see what's going on between you and yourself um so don't take their opinions in too much you also have the observer card which i love this card because it's about focusing on the future where you want to settle down this reminds me of the two of wands which is a card about expanding and you know thinking about the next thing that you want to do um in this deck i feel like it's really about looking at something that feels a little bit too far away or a little bit too impossible but it's not true the part two of this card is where the fox is actually on the moon now so it feels like where you are now will be will bring the ladder to get where you want to go <laughs> to get where you want to be to settle down um whether that's a certain person whether that is a certain career goal you know life goal in general this egg that you're sitting on the present may not seem that exciting because you have to wait for it um but it is going to give you what you need to get where you want to go okay like speaking very generally it's interesting because there is this vibe between both of these cards saying that you're not quite ready just yet to get where you want to go but visualize it you know be about it but there is something in your present moment that's really actually going to be the thing that takes you there 
that's the vibes I'm getting. All right, let's carry on. Let's grab you some other oracle decks here. Let's get some extra messages, please, for Aquarius. Acceptance. Coming in. Which I feel like is what I've just been saying about accepting that things may not be happening in a timing that you want it to be or things might not look perfect. But the acceptance is actually about understanding that things don't need to look perfect, especially not to other people around you. I don't know why I'm sensing that, but it just feels like people are busting the bubble a little bit. I don't like it. Or try, again, trying to crack the egg for you and it's like, please just get away. <laughs> get away. Or it could be you could be you trying to crack this egg trying to get rush a, a, a rush a process too quickly because you're worried about other people's opinions like it could really be like that right so we have acceptance coming in let's get another one for you you have destiny coming up so this is you really focusing on your destiny this card is also about like destined soulmates as well, by the way. So if there is someone that you're dealing with now, the message behind this card is actually about the fact that you guys probably, you know, um, wanted to live, oops, sorry, to reincarnate in this life together. That's the story behind this uh, chakra card. So it could be part of your destiny is to meet somebody, to be with somebody, to work through problems with somebody or to have a lesson with somebody. Um but it can also just be about your destiny in general. Something that you've asked for that you will get. Um, and it's also a message here, like don't be afraid to ask for something. Don't be afraid to ask. Like the story behind this is one of them actually rejects them, but then they really kind of say, please, like please, please, can we do this? And the other one says yes. So it's almost like that. <laughs> if that resonates with you, of course, like God, like I just talk. I just say what I see and I guess it's up to you guys to kind of like see if it fits in your life or not, right? Aquarius, please. Let's get a spirit animal. <gasps> oh, I love, this is my favorite one. It doesn't come up very often. We have the panther spirit here. Reclaim your power. I love this. This is really about standing your ground. Like that's the vibes that I get from this. We have a 4-4 four four here, which is really about the foundations it goes to a number eight, sorry, <laughs> it goes to a number eight as well, and eights to me represent changes, but these are changes based on cause and effect, it's like what you put out into the world, you get back, when you reclaim your power, things really do change um, in your life as well, so, and that could very well be with that destiny card, when you really assert yourself and say, actually, no, I really deserve this, even though you were rejected or something, you know, didn't work out the way that you wanted it to, when you assert yourself and try again, I really do get the sense here that um, you'll get accepted for something. Maybe that's why acceptance is there. Interesting. Right. Let's dive into your tarot. I have a different spread. I'm just going to do like what's behind you. So like recent past. It could be recent, could be far past. It depends what comes up and who I'm speaking to. Then we'll do present. Then we'll do near future. Okay, let's see. For my Aquarius is out there. My Aquarians. Let's get three cards, please, for what's behind them. Is the deck the right way? Yeah, it is. Okay. Three cards, please. The Ace of Wands. What's behind them? One more. Ace of Wands. Eight of Wands. And the Devil. Mm, interesting indeed. This speaks about new passionate beginnings. A new idea may have come up uh, in the recent past or in what's behind you here is some sort of like passion the devil and the eight of wands is also about a lot of opportunities so lately maybe you've had a lot of like ideas maybe you've moved for example the ace of wands can sometimes be that for me but the devil is here i'm gonna clarify why the devil is here this feels great aside from the devil <laughs> Let's see, there's a lot of opportunities from your past or again, ideas, things moving in the right direction, which is great. Why is the devil here, please? The death card. I think this is already out of your life, to be honest. Um, this can really be uh, limitations. It can be fears. It can be uh, things that are holding you back or a connection back. The death card coming through is really about like a cleansing has happened in, in the past of something that was a little bit 
not supposed to be in your life basically similar to that blessed card where i said that we might be happy that something didn't actually happen this could be the case here maybe there was a new passion and beginning with somebody but this person may have not been the best person for you because the devil was there this might be something that will later cause a limitation in your life would later you know hold you back for example that could definitely be something that's going on here this can also be about like certain habits addictions temptations um here that has been kind of wiped out i feel like the death card came in and wiped out this devil energy meaning major change and transformation pulled you out of maybe a toxic situation um, this could be anyone could be family friends work situations or again your own fears but the death card is really about like the universe didn't really let something pass is what it feels like let's just get one more for that the chariot moving forward uh chasing a dream chasing a goal so again something was holding you back but the death card here again something changed something transformed um so that this didn't hold you back so you can move forward and achieve a goal it's interesting major arcana cards here so that's kind of whatever happened in the past was definitely divine um orchestration is is uh, what i'm thinking about so ace of wands eight of wands things really moving in the right direction there may have been a bit of a blockage or a person or a limitation but it got wiped out got wiped out so that you can move forward maybe something trying to embed fear in you what's this ace of wands The Knight of Wands, that's beautiful because this is about optimism. This is enthusiasm. This is like, I feel like this is you achieving goals or achieving new beginnings and passionate things. This is a very fiery energy. Uh, Knight of Wands is known to be like the conqueror. Like, I feel like that's why I have to say because it's almost like you were very ambitious. I, maybe you still are, but I'm seeing this as lately like there was a new beginning, something that you really wanted to pursue. The Knight of Wands is again about like freedom as well. It's really about expanding and growing. So that devil energy had to go. All right, the Eight of Wands. The Three of Swords, that's interesting. We're going to get another one for that. This can be like kind of painful uh, communication or again, through moving forward, there may have been a difficult like um, truth, something that um, caused a bit of pain, heartache. One more for this combination two of wands here yeah, it feels like in order to grow you had to let go of something a again i will say it was kind of inevitable and maybe you know that too but when the death card comes in you can't you can't stop the death card you know it will come in it's almost like inevitable i see it as like something that kind of just had to happen to clear space for you so that you can really focus on your future and expanding and growing you have a very beautiful passionate ambitious energy about you i like it and again the eight of wands is about being i always see as being in the right track things are moving in the right direction that's why life is speeding up because it's like on the right track for you but it does come with a little bit of pain or did come with a little bit of pain sacrifice your current energy the empress i love that the empress did come out with a six of cups maybe recently you guys have had children are planning on children maybe you're pregnant now or <laughs> it doesn't have to be the case the empress is good in, in terms of really being in a very abundant position okay um within so it will kind of manifest externally too this is about having unconditional love understanding all right uh, honoring your body and what it's telling you um, being in a really beautiful position six of cups can be about nostalgia past uh, memories coming up past people coming up um it can also be about children and soulmates though so I'm, i will clarify this for you let's get one more for your current energy eight of pentacles i love that this is telling me that you're really working hard on something and it's starting to pay off for you uh, eight of pentacles is like building on something and seeing results so that's amazing financially this looks really good as well okay so if you could actually come and uh, you could have you could be or could have worked towards a specific contract and this feels like you're gonna get it that feels great there's acceptance coming through with that 
Can we clarify this uh, Empress? Ten of Swords. This feels like a complete like... I feel like this is like a renewal of self that's happened lately. Most likely because of this massive like change. Um, I will say you're in a very confident energy with the Ten of Swords. It's like you are now this empress based on the things that have happened to you in the past because the ten of swords is like is a completion it's an ending it's betrayal it's like a really painful ending but it kind of recreated you to be this abundant person that you are today and having the self-love that you have today ten of swords is being clarified by the wild card so complete new beginnings like a cycle had to end for another one to begin it's the same kind of message here in order for you to be who you are today or the things that you're manifesting the, the way that you're claiming yourself claiming your power definitely all right six of cups uh two of pentacles that's quite interesting maybe you have two children i'm just saying that for the lols <laughs> like well, not for the laws, but I'm just saying that because of, like there's two children and it's like juggling two things, like trying to keep on top of things. The two of a pentacles is really trying to balance things here, like really trying to build on something and and have it being very busy. So let's see, why is this to do with the six of cups? Though, what is this to do with the nine of cups? Well, maybe you're working on like a past goal, you know um again for some of you it may definitely resonate with like building a family or maybe trying to choose a soulmate that could definitely be the case here the nine of cups is wish fulfillment coming through so it feels like you're being very busy with something and it is going to lead towards wish fulfillment uh if it's a relationship if you are in a relationship or about to be or dating somebody with caring connections i feel like you're balancing your feelings and you're compromising and you know it's an equal give and take in this dynamic for it to actually um go further for some of you well six of cups nostalgia two of pentacles nine of cups like i think that something about the past might be helping you to balance or juggle what you're doing today whether it's motivating you, can't be too sure, but there's some uh, relevance here. But again, it could be just about equal giving and taking here. Eight of Pentacles, please. The Three of Cups, you're definitely going to be celebrating something. All right, this is like some sort of like congratulations. This is a celebration for, you know, seeing your hard work pay off for you. So this feels like a really good time for you. Right, let's have a little look and see in your near future. Well, for Aquarius, you have the Three of Wands. So there's a little bit of like a delay or a waiting period, could be to do with marriage or some sort of commitment here. Um, if you're signing a contract now, like it could take a while for there to be actual like physical results that you're actually doing that thing. Because sometimes this is my card of like commitments, and that can be career wise too. Um, right let's carry on why is uh i'm gonna clarify this so why is there a waiting the lovers i mean you could be waiting for love you could definitely be waiting for a high level of commitment uh, with somebody the lovers also represents choice as well so you know um you could be making a choice with somebody if you are in a relationship definitely feels like you will marry this person but you might get a little bit impatient with that uh, but it will happen um if you're single you might be waiting for a relationship to come through but it's taking its time because it you know you're manifesting in the right person so it's not really something we want to rush but your soulmate definitely is out there and, and will come your way in the near future please for aquarius you have judgment truth clarity learning a lesson surrendering right this is like my card of like ascending to another level which again with the hierophant a lot of uh, leveling up for you let's get one more the four of swords okay there's definitely some healing coming up here really addressing any pains so this energy that you've dealt with in the past that may still be impacting you or something you do reflect on you will have healed from this um, maybe it's about understanding a lesson of what you had to let go of to to be where you are going to be. 
um that's really about clarity that combination is really about clarity anything else what about this love connection then three of pentacles um i'm seeing like an approval of something again in a relationship like i don't know if there's like parental like approval or the three of uh, pentacles is about collaboration so if you're dating someone this will definitely be stabilized um in the future i do see a relationship even if you're not in one now for those of you who are in one again this could be like buying a home together like it's a collaboration it's a project it's building a plan together so maybe it's about talking about expanding the family having babies i don't know um, but it definitely is like i always see that as a card about building something together and you have the two of cups this is your soulmate okay anything else we need to know what about this reclaim your power five of pentacles so this is telling me that in the past you definitely felt like abandoned we do get hints of that through your reading of you know going through a lot of difficulty maybe feeling a bit betrayed by people or having this devil energy abandonment fears um this reclaim your power is like don't just accept defeat don't be afraid to ask for help it's also about reclaiming your power it's about having the right to be here having the right to ask for help and also to create um because the message behind the five of pentacles is like there is a charge there and the lights are on so you know people are inside these people are staying on the outside and not going inside and they're accepting their pains and they're feeling abandoned when if they actually went inside they would actually get help so it's almost like don't be too shy to ask reclaim your power step into your purpose here step into what you're deserving of don't be afraid to ask for help and also don't be afraid to push past this limitation that you guys have experienced okay my angels that's all i have for you i hope you guys have an amazing week this is a very powerful reading to be honest out of all the ones that i've done so far so i do like the energy that you guys are in um but that's all i have for you i hope to see you guys next time all right team.